Hi, it's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. I'm back again for another episode in the Woodland Wonders series. So today we have got the last two, um, you know, what we're doing with the embellishments. So we made these, there was just circles, stamped on them, put a few little decorations and a word. And then those what we did with uh, the inside of a cardboard box. And then we just uh, jazzed it up. So um, there is a playlist. So you can go back if you've missed how to make these um, and revisit it. So this is what I've ended up making. I'll leave them there a minute. Um, so what all I've done is collage the back of... I've put it on an envelope first so this is a small envelope um, I've used a couple of different envelopes uh, whichever was best to fit the piece um, then I've collaged on top just stuck that on top I've cut the top off the card and now it's a pocket like so and then you can also you know stick it down on three sides and have a a a journal card there or you could have a tag at the top as well so I'm really happy with these um definitely going to make some some more so I'll just give you a quick quick look at them that one's a side one so, I've done that there. so you'd be able to have a tag there as well and that one and that one, I think these are my fave. <laughs> and the envelopes, um, they're just tea stained envelopes. I think these are all from the red bush tea. I've just added the circle at the bottom and I've just glue, glue, <laughs> glued just a bit at the bottom so you've got enough room to tuck that in and out. Um, and then just done a little bit of, of collage in there. So that is that and I've just done some stamping, kept the back um, blank because I thought it would probably end up getting stuck in. In hindsight, I wish now I'd have done it on the side, these, um, because, oh, I'm ripping it all to bits now, I'll stick that back on. Um, I'm just wondering now, that will probably be too wide um, for most journals it would probably have to go that way um yeah let me just pause and see see if i can take them off without actually uh ripping them okay i was able to to remedy that um i won't open them all because obviously now they're all or they're all wet so i've just changed them <coughs> excuse me <coughs> onto the side um like so so we've got that one and that one, that one, and that one. So it just goes to show you've really got to think about where you're actually going to use your pieces and are they going to fit. Um, so let's start off with that one. So I'll have them that way. No, I think they are better that way. Right, so we're going to have them that way. I've got my mementos and I've got Potter's Clay. And I think we'll go in with some, some numbers. It's that one. It's like a bit of a, a check. And like so, then I think we'll go in with just a little bit of script like that. So I hope everybody is is well and doing some nice nice crafting and making some lovely things. So I've really enjoyed um, 
making the the woodland um things um yeah i'm gonna say it's all all my favorite colors and then you know the botanicals and and the woodland animals and stuff so yeah i've i've had a whale of a time so i can't uh wait till i start actually using the pieces right i'll put those over there to wipe um in a minute oh, i put my stamps in the wrong way so that's that um i've got this dear one i think the dog's gonna start barking any second because i can hear another dog barking and we're gonna have that one there um, what did I tell you? <laughs> I'm going to use my tear ruler and I'm just going to tear off a piece of this um, wrapping paper. You can find the link in the description and you can also find more information in one of my haul videos which will be all done in a minute. Okay, the barking war has finished. So, um, I've got a little doily. I'm just going to stick that onto there. Um, so, I'm just going to put some glue there. Go up to about there. And then just place that on the top. Then I'm going to cut round it. Um, when I first did it, I cut the piece of doily first and I just didn't like how it looked didn't seem to fit the space very well so I've started doing it uh, that way so that's that then I'm gonna stick that down there so what I'm gonna do is just a little bit in the um, at the side just enough to keep it stuck down but not going towards the centre. So there's plenty. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm ready for a, a drink. Um, <coughs> so there's enough room to take your flap up and down. I've just used my tear roller to cut some of this uh, wrapping paper, which I was saying uh, the links in my description and um, it is in a couple of my haul videos. And I have got a playlist for all my haul videos. Uh, which will give you a flip through to both the different packs I've brought from there. There's lots and lots of uh, choice and she's bringing new ones out all the time. In fact, I've stopped looking because um, I have now got everything to finish off all my... Um, all the projects that I want to do, um, you know, up until the beginning of next year so um i don't, really don't need to be to be buying anything else so i think i'm gonna put a little bit of paper there um let me just ink it up a little bit So as I've said before, I'm not really doing Christmas. Um, I'm going to be doing the woodland themes well into uh, the winter. But then I am going to do some like winter uh, wonderland, which will be the woods in, in the winter. Um, so really, uh, it will be woodlands for, for the rest of the year. So my absolute fave. So I'm just going to tear a little bit of this on just to add a little bit more. And so these can always be added to as, as you use them. I think if you over embellish something, if you're making it ahead of time, um, Sometimes it can be difficult to, to get into your project and um, sometimes it just doesn't match with anything that you're doing. So I think keeping it quite, um, you know, just unfinished is 
well that works for me so I just go around it with some ink so that is that one yeah I prefer them that way as well it's funny how you just do things and and then think about it <coughs> after <coughs> I must when I've done this one I'm gonna pause and go make myself a drink before we start on on the last project of this part of the of the series so the series will will carry on um there won't be as much videos um after this because i've um i don't mean as much i mean as many a week as i've been doing but <clears throat> i kind of wanted to fly through the embellishments um so i could you know start on on my actual bigger projects and i thought the longer i'm doing embellishments um it'll be summer <laughs> be summer by the time i finish so so yeah that's why we've had four a week to get um organized i have wrote myself a little bit of a plan for next year so i can be doing my projects a lot earlier than um you know be at least part way through them as we get to the actual season so that's that because um yeah i'm guessing a lot of people are probably making um halloween and christmas now so i'm not not doing halloween either but i really don't don't fancy that um i love halloween um but yeah i don't fancy doing it with with paper it was the same as when i did christmas last year and I, I just didn't enjoy it as much as i love decorating the house um i love all the the colors um our houses i do it quite traditional um so it's you know the gold red and green um obviously there's a bit of a woodland spin on it um i like lots of pine cones on it and berries and things like that um so yeah i love decorating the house but yeah i just didn't enjoy uh doing it with with paper so i'm gonna do the same because there's not a lot of real estate on on this envelope there's not a lot of places where where you can put it I do prefer decorating the front but um then it's you know unless you're making a, a hinge um you're then not going to be able to use it as, as an actual envelope so I've started to do to do the backs but um yeah I don't think there is interesting or not interesting you've just not got enough uh, space really so put that there stick that down so the um i put some embellishments up from making these embellishments and i've been putting some ephemera packs up um the ephemera packs will keep popping up every now and again because um every time i'm i'm making ephemera while i'm working on the woodland um you know i'll make more than than i need and i keep popping extra ones in in the etsy shop so if they've gone at this point um because i don't know at the beginning i did put eight up um and at this point you know from filming it today i've got no more uh to put up so if they've gone then they've they've gone but they, they hopefully will be uh some more but it will be you know in dribs and dribs and drabs and because i'm filming in front it's a bit hard for me to say 
um, oh, they're up today. But I have noticed now and I have worked out how to use the community, um, I don't know, discussion board, is it? So I can keep you up to date a little bit with that because um, I've already um, done a poll on there and I did do <clears throat> an initial video telling you that the series was starting and that so I could perhaps use that as a way to to communicate so that's that because I don't know if everybody's on Instagram I can't even work out who people are on Instagram because obviously people use different names um, on different platforms so yeah it's a bit hard for me to know who's who um, and I'd, I get all requests off people and I don't know if um, you know you're from YouTube or not but um, I flick into the profiles and stuff and if there's there's nothing on there or if they're private um i i don't i don't add so if um if you have added me and i haven't added you then um yeah let me know what your what your name is and and i will i will add you um so i'm going to just pause for a little minute and then we shall come back and do these i've got one envelope like so that is just over four inches by just over three so that one's going to be fine for that I've sealed the back and I need to cut the top off and then the other one I've used one of these uh, like coin envelopes so I will cut the top off and that will be for that I need to get some stuff out actually to to collage I've got some paper I might have enough really because I can just <coughs> I've, I've just got um these out and a bit of doily so yeah I can probably do them in, in them because these ones are quite uh numbers and stuff oh, I absolutely love them yeah I should definitely make these again and I enjoyed it I love doing the gessoing and the spraying and stuff and I would like to get a little bit more more into to doing that kind of stuff but um yeah i'm just kind of learning each product as as we go because i think when once you start looking into mixed media things um it just seems like you need a million a million different different things so right i should be back in a tick okay i am back right let's just put these to one side look at that beautiful i used um, some of those scraps of sari that i bought and i included the a bit what had got some some beads on that's beautiful right so first i'm going to cut off the um i don't know why i always want to call them lids flaps of that envelope and I'm just going to take a smidgen off the top of this envelope. I normally do that, that bit with my trimmer but yeah that's fine. Um, I'm going to collage on that so that the back's nice and, and um, flush. So I think I'll just start by putting some glue all over here without going um, into the envelope so I'm just going to lift it up so I've got my glasses on but um, still can't see <laughs> it's still too far away um, I've probably told you a million times I have booked in uh, but I couldn't get into the opticians till the 1st of November which is my da youngest daughter's birthday and um the reason I couldn't get in till November is because I was trying to get me and um, my daughter in at the same same time because Alna wears glasses um, all the time. So yeah, to get an appointment what was out of school hours or at a weekend, it, that's how long it took to to get it. So um, she did go oh, 
But, um, you know, we've not been going out shopping, you know, fun shopping and stuff. We've been once when we went to get school stuff. So I said, well, because um, I live about seven miles out of Nottingham, you know, the town of Nottingham. Um, and we don't go very often um, because I work in a shop and that, one, I don't need a lot and two... Um, I got sick of being in a shop, to be quite honest. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I love stuff and I love clothes. I mean, I don't buy half as many clothes now with not going out and stuff. Um, and even when I was going out walking and stuff, I still enjoyed, um, going out buying walking clothes and things like that. But, um. Yeah, now I mainly shop for pyjamas, <laughs> uh, you know, to be quite honest, because all my clothes, um, I get them on uniform, so um, I find I don't need any, any more clothes, because uh, we only wear them for so long at, at work, and then, you know, they, they're ours. Um, so yeah, I just don't, don't need as many clothes. If, if I do happen to go somewhere, then I'll, you know, get myself an outfit. Because on the occasion where I have gone out on a social occasion, I've perhaps not been out for three years before that. And, um, yeah, I've just got nothing kind of up to date or what have you to wear. So I kind of just buy an outfit if and when I need one. Um, but yeah, I do like going for uh, pyjamas. And because it'll be getting colder, um, I shall want some new fluffy socks. I'm a big fluffy sock person. Um, I love buying hats and gloves and scarves and things like that. And slippers. So that's that one. Um can't remember if I managed to get my hole punch in this or not. Uh, not hole punch, um, rounder. Should have done that before, but it's too busy chatting. No, I don't think I can get it on. Can't remember what I did last time. Oh, I didn't do anything. So that that's that one. Um, again, so so easy once you've got your piece uh, made up, and it definitely saves time uh, mass making things. And you know, I've took that from obviously watching Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah, and then um, occasionally I do do the mass makes, and I've been doing them with the Tim Holtz paper. I think I'm at about episode 13 on that. Um, my plan is to get to 20 um, using the Tim Holtz paper. And then I was going to do uh, some with the Bay Bunny uh, paper that, that I bought. I think it's botanical or something. Um, because Teresa, my friend from Instagram, uh, introduced me to scrapbooking.com. And for some reason, <clears throat> I just thought uh, we couldn't order from there because I know a few years ago I did go on an American site uh, and it was a big site um, and I just can't remember who it was. But uh, I just couldn't even view the site. It was saying, you know, because I wasn't in the US, I couldn't even look at the, at the website. So um, <clears throat> I'd never really bothered looking again. And she showed me some lovely paper that she was having for autumn. I mean, this is, you know, a few months ago. You know, and she said, oh, I think you're like this. And I was like, yeah. Uh, so that's the couple of simple story um, pages that, that I had. Um, and then, yeah, I discovered Bay Bunny. <coughs> um, never heard, heard of her before. So... Um, I fell in love with the botanical one, so I do think it'd be nice to um, do some projects in in that because I think by the time I get to twenty, 
in using the Tim Holtz, I'll have probably, once I've made like the folios up for the pieces to go with, I will have probably run out of Tim Holtz paper. And I have bought um, two pads, 12 by 12s of the wallflower, and I've had one pad of the vellum, which I haven't used yet, um, which I do need to start including in things. So I'm thinking, yeah, by by the time I get to 20, I'll probably only have scraps left. Um, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it and I would definitely buy it again. But um, I, I should be a little bit bored of it. I have seen um, a pad that is done uh, called Dapper. I don't know how old that is, but... Um, I think I found that on scrapbooking.com because I don't think I've ever come across that on on Amazon. Um, so that was a little bit different. But then the rest of his pads are normally on... Um, I'm not so keen on the, the French one. Fine for backing paper, um, but that's not really, you know, what I want to, to use it for. So... Yeah, I think I'll be a little bit fed up with that. So, that's that one. I had been, when I was doing the others, I did put my little um, <coughs> clips on it because um, the cardboard is quite, quite thick. I thought I'll put the clips on. But um, I did flatten this corrugated card uh, I kept it under some heavy books for quite a while, well, months actually. Um, and then I did go down it with my bone folder and it is as, you know, as flat as, as it can be. Um, so it does stick out, but it's not, it's not overly um, thick. So, yeah, I don't think there'll be too many problems using the pieces so that's that the embellishment part has has come to to an end well the making the embellishments um i'm sure i'll be making well we'll have to decorate what what i'm going to be making in the future but um i should probably it will be more like collage and um like using the kits uh what i've got and you know trying to make the pieces um my own um by adding you know things things to it and and things like that so that's those all done so thank you very much for joining me i do hope that you're enjoying this series because I love it <laughs> yeah, I really love it so yeah I hope I hope you do too because I just think they're they're all stunning so thank you very much and I will see you on when will I see you <laughs> uh, another day <laughs> I'll see you soon thanks for joining me bye